Hi viewers and welcome to Blush With Me with Parmita. Every photographer has a different way of taking pictures and so do I. So I usually like to spend some time with my clients before the photo shoot just to help them get more comfortable and confident in front of the camera. And I figured that most of the people think that saying cheese or just smiling and having that one standard smile is the only way to take pictures and they do become very stiff on the actual day of the shoot and I have to help them get comfortable and it's actually easier to get kids comfortable sometimes I think than adults which is why I thought there was a need to make this video today so clearly we are talking about posing so these tips that I'm going to share with you today are going to be very helpful in any photo session either with me or any other photographer or even when you're taking selfies. So tip number one, your standing pose. So as far as regular, normal people are concerned, I'm not talking about models. So for regular people, the stance that I'm about to show you usually works in a very flattering manner. So avoid standing straight head on, looking like this or just like this, because this doesn't do anything to your body language. It doesn't create a great picture. Instead, what you can do is turn quarters and turn your torso towards the camera. Now this would work perfectly well for men or women. Now for women what you can do is put your weight on the hip that's behind. So once you do that, you make this leg look leaner, the leg that's in front of you. Now watch, if I stand like this versus I stand like this, automatically you look leaner when your weight is on the hip that you're sitting on. Now the stance, in the same posture, you could, because this leg is completely free, you can move it in any direction and still look very comfortable and nice and you can give variety to your pictures. Let's watch. Very, very important. Suck your stomach in. Pull yourself back and up together. You look taller and leaner and more confident. Next tip, positioning your neck and face flat under your chin. Without putting any effort, this is what it looks like. And then just pull your chin ahead a little bit. Get this line and tilt it down. Tilt it low enough that your nostrils are not above the camera. Bring it a little low. This is the first one. This is the second one. From any angle, it gives you a really sharp jawline. I don't even know the next tip that I'm going to share is on any of the YouTube channels that teach you about posing but this is something that helped me tremendously even in my modeling career and I'm 100% sure it's going to be one of the most beneficial tip that I'm going to give you today. So what you do is, so this is my normal face for the camera and pull your ears and head back just pull it from inside. I don't know how to explain it but you just need to pull it from within. So see the transformation. So you can do anything with your face once you pull it back. I think it just looks so much sexier and so much more elegant when you're posing with your face pulled back. Next tip is squinching your eyes. So squinching, this is squinching. This is your normal face. And this is squinching. So much sexier, right? 
your eyes. I have to see both the eyeballs clearly. But this is what is wrong. Next step is to position your shoulders and arms. As a thumb rule, anything that's closer to the camera will look the biggest in the picture. So if you want your arms to look really slender, avoid turning them closest to the camera. Then when you move your arms away, you make them look more slender, like so. So just avoid pressing your arms against your body. You also look a lot more awkward when your arms are just sticking by your body. So feel a little more free and use your arms. Let's learn how to pout belly. Change your face angle slowly for every shot so that you figure out which angle works best for you. And then stick to that angle. Play with your body, but stick to your face angles. For example, this angle works the best for me. So you will very, very rarely see me facing this way and looking into the camera. Please do not overdo the smile. We want you to look happy but not awkward. Next, let's learn how to use your hands with your face. So if you like this video and you think this is helpful, then please subscribe to my channel. You see that little red subscribe button? Please click that and hit the like button. If you have any comments or if you have any questions, any suggestions, then you know where the comment box is. Please send some comments and I'd be very happy to answer any questions. And stick around and watch Blush With Me. See you later.